Hello, 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 my lovelies. Welcome to my first Timu try on haul. So this is a pair of two videos. The first video was the unboxing or unpackaging of my first order from Timu. So if you have not seen that, then check that out. I will pop the link somewhere up here. And now we're gonna try on some of these items as well as the shoes, ladies. Stay tuned. And our first items, ladies, are the shoes that I showed you in the first video. I still stick by my word. They do seem very cheap, but they don't feel cheap on your feet. Like they feel very comfortable. I still feel like these will be better off as shower shoes, but I'm gonna try to get away with wearing them as um, outside summer shoes, just because I really like the color and I do like how they feel, but I wouldn't say try to go running in these, don't wear them in the rain, just, you know, just be careful. They're just cute. I like the fact that they're so wide and they're very, very foamy, like very, very foamy. And it seems like you can just cut them in half with a pair of scissors if you wanted to, but again, they feel good. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, next pair. So cute. You hear that? These are good quality. These are good quality. Oh, I love me just a good pair of slide on shoes. Y'all, I am a sandal girl. If you catch me wearing heels, I'm just I'm just acting grown. I really love sandals. Like really, really cute sandals, like sandals that are extra sparkles pearls all that gold silver i just love really really cute sandals and these do it oh these are cute and they're comfortable so nice love these okay let's put on some clothes are you ready ladies i have on the first dress as you can see and i am in love i mean oh okay so it is form fitting and i knew that but I wanted one that was like this again, as I explained in the first video, because I want it as like a base for other things. So as you can see, I went and grabbed my little um, cut off little denim faded chopped up shirt. Like I love this top because it covers, it makes things more modest. And I just, I love the look of it. So with this dress here, you can wear this, you can do this a casual look, dressed up look. I think you could even, you know get away with business casual if you put on a nice blazer on top of it but it is just a very very nice base but if you're looking to cover up just make sure you cover up properly because it it will show you little lady areas okay but when i covered up as you can see you cannot see my hips or my buttocks or anything like that and this is one of the scarves i did decide to go ahead and show y'all the scarves with some of the outfits y'all this is just thrown together i'm not saying i would really wear this out i'm just giving y'all an idea of what you can do so the scarf is from Timu, the dress is from Timu, and this um, may be Ross a few years ago, I think, I don't know, but um, y'all, this is cute, this is giving, and I love that it goes down so long, like I hate it when I get maxi dresses that are not maxi, I want my stuff sweeping the ground, that way if it's too long, I can just hem it up an inch or two, but I love this, like this, this is me, and y'all look, it's so, watch this, look, look at that stretch, Look at this, like you can squat, you can like, you, you, you can be comfortable in this. You can like, look, look at this. I love how long the arms are. So I will leave all the details in the description of the video as well as links. Now the thing with Timu is stuff does go fast y'all. So if you click a link and if it's gone, ooh, ooh, I don't know what to tell you. Sometimes on there, they have an option where you can click, um, to find similar items so i would say do that if i leave you a link and if it's sold out so let me show you what else you can do with this as a base dress i have a little black abaya right here that's like zip front and then i have this which is really this is really a swimsuit cover-up i think but i of course never wear it as a swimsuit cover-up i more so wear it as like a sheer abaya so i'm gonna put this on with both of these to kind of give you an idea of what you can do with a form-fitting maxi dress as your base so here we are with the black abaya right you could zip up if you want but zipping up would defeat 
wearing this dress because people wouldn't see whatever pretty color you get. So I would just wear it open like this. Super duper cute, okay? Shoot, 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 shoot. But I don't think I would do black and gold together. That's just not really my thing. As I told you, I don't like black. <laughs> I really don't. That's why you've never seen me wear this before. <laughs> but I do have a black about it. <laughs> And this is what it looks like with a sheer cover up. Still cute, a little less modest because it is sheer, but as long as your sheer item is loose fitting and has like a nice flow, maybe you could belt it if you're comfortable doing that. That's what I would probably do with this, just kind of like a loose belt. And I do have a belt, but I just don't have it with me right now. And I don't feel like going to get it, but I would probably do something like this and just wear it like that. Okay, so you have a lot of options. All right, and the scarf is a jersey scarf. It's a very thin jersey. If I do like this, I can see, like, I, I can kind of see through it. So, and it has a bit of a stretch. A lot more stretch this way, so not a four-way stretch. Just kind of more taut here. But again, slightly see-through, which is not a problem as long as you're, if you're hijab, if you're wearing an undercap or if you just kind of double layer it. Um, if you want to make sure your hair is completely covered if you're not a hijabi and you're just looking for something that you can wrap around your head or um, just cover yourself with loosely for the summer this would be it because it is very very breathable but again if you are hijabi you would definitely want to have an undercap with this or just double wrap so that your hair is completely covered so this is kind of trying to show you the scarf without revealing myself but it's a nice size i just have it around me like this right now so pretty, pretty nice, pretty nice. Very lightweight, see how that just flows? Okay, next. Ladies, ladies, ladies. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Who's that, who's that, who's that? Y'all, I'm in love, okay? And if you didn't watch the first video, it has pockets. Y'all, I. Okay, I don't know. I might go back and get another two or three of these in different colors. Oh my goodness. I wish they had different words. This says blessed. Y'all, this is so, ooh. And I can do my um, scarf just like this. I would probably wear two scarves, like the under one I have on now, and then do one over like this so that I'm covering my bosom, but I still get to show this cute little thing in the middle. Ooh, y'all. Y'all, and it's so, it's so loose. Look at this, look at this. Oh, I love it. It's just swallowing me up. I think I got a large or extra large. I don't know, but I wanted to get it really, really big so that it would fit, you know, like this on me so I don't have to worry about my showing, you know. Y'all. And this is the white jersey scarf. So just like the red, like same measurements and everything, super duper thin jersey. So again, I think this will be really nice for the summer. It's extremely breathable. But if you're looking just for a scarf that you can throw on and have proper coverage, this probably wouldn't be the one because I can see y'all through this scarf, but it is so cute. So that's probably why I would wear it like this. This, mm. Mm, y'all. Okay. All right, all right, let me stop. Let me get to the next outfit. My lovelies, look at this. Girl, look, this is so cute. So I have on a chiffon eggplant-ish colored scarf, okay? Y'all, I've had this black little halter jumper for oh my gosh <laughs> i don't know when i tell you probably 10 plus years like y'all i keep my clothes for a long time as long as they are good quality i keep my the ones i like like i keep my clothes for a long time usually sometimes i give away and things like that of course but like staple items i keep like i just keep so i've had this for a very long time i dug this out of the closet just to put on under this top y'all look at the top so this is a size large and I really would like an extra large. So some of the items do run small, okay? And the reason why I want an extra large is because I really wanted it like super duper flowy. It's just sort of flowy. And if I was to unbutton this button and button this one, it'll be a little uncomfortable for me around my hip and buttocks area. So I, I, I should do an extra large, um, I, but I don't think I'm gonna return it. I think I would just wear it like this with this button buttoned up or just open like this 
Oh, I did two buttons. I didn't even realize I did two. Okay, like this. I think that's cute. What y'all think? So just keep in mind, if you do order from Timu, make sure you check the sizing charts, the size guides, because some of the items do run small. As far as the quality of this item, it's super duper thin. So if you do get this, you would definitely have to wear something underneath it. It is sheer, it's very thin. I don't feel like it's high quality at all, but it is super cute, okay? <laughs> and then the scarf, you can see the length and width of the scarf. I love the feel of it, very lightweight. Watch how it flows. Look at that. And yeah, so it don't have a lot of grip, of course, like chiffon. So just be aware of that. And then also against this fabric, that's why it's sliding down like that. But this has... It has the button right here as if you would be able to roll it up and button it, but I don't think, oh, it does. Y'all, okay, I didn't even realize that. Wait a second. So I do have a shirt on underneath, just FYI, but it has the, I don't know the proper name for this, but it has the little um, piece of fabric here where you can just button it up. That would be so cute too, if you wanted to wear it that way. So that's cute. Y'all, I love this. I love this. Oh, this is too cute. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. Y'all, this, this little Lavender and white number right here, baby. Baby, she cute. She cute, mashallah. Okay, so this is another chiffon scarf, and this is that like um oh like a rosy mauvey pink type of color. And then I feel like, as I said before in the first video, I feel like this dress is really like a lavender and white, but it's like a lavender pink. I don't know, it's weird. So I'm able to get away with this, even though these two colors don't, you know, completely match. And then I put the little um, wrist strap on the little bag, y'all. This is so cute. Now, of course, I would not be wearing this with black bottoms. I would probably do jeans if I'm going for a casual look maybe white bottoms um maybe bottoms that match this or just a bag and bottoms that match together like i'm just i'm just thinking of all types of ideas but the dress honey let's hear a round of applause for the dress and it does button down from here all the way to here and i love the fit of it so if you're gonna go shop on timu my advice to you if you want your items to fit modestly go two to three size up <laughs> above what what you would normally buy like if, if your normal size is like form fitting and very tight go like two to three sizes up that's what i did to have my items flow because if i get my actual actual size everything would just be super duper form fitting now what i do want to show y'all these did not come together as a set i just kind of eyeballed them and said okay i think they might match so they are close enough for me to be worn together but let me show you something about this little belt honey that i did not realize <laughs> this thing is like a little bustier so i am not going to put it on completely on camera because the internet be internet and sometimes but hold on let me show y'all is that right yeah that's right so it goes like this and even though it has like buckles and stuff in the front, it does not actually buckle. Like it just, it's Velcro. I, am I covered up? Yeah, I'm covered up good. So it just Velcros together. Now I have on about three to four layers <laughs> right now. I have on like two shirts. I have on a, a halter top jumper and then this and two scarves. So I have on a lot of layers right now. But I think this thing would be like so cute with the right outfit and then with my scarf to cover my bosom because when you wear it, it does kind of like push you up a little bit. And that's not why I got it. I just got it because I thought it would be cute, but I didn't realize that it would push me up. But this is what it is like from the back. 
So it does kind of squeeze you in a little bit and push you up. If you are very modest and that makes you uncomfortable, then this item would not be the item for you. But if you are someone who's looking for something to kind of squeeze your waist in and push that part up, this little thing will do it. I was like, whoa, I'm not wearing that on camera. So yeah, but it's cute, y'all. It is very cute. If you have shopped on uh, Shein, this this is pretty much this is she and I, i'm pretty sure that they manufacture and source their stuff from the same place whereas the stuff is really really cute but it's probably not gonna last you for five to ten years unless you keep it like in plastic wrapped up all the time after a few washes we'll see how some of these items do but um you you can definitely get a cute outfit as far as quality um a scale of one to ten i would say 7.58 ish you know what i'm saying like you it's not it's definitely not real leather you know what i'm saying but if you're just looking for something cute yes <laughs> ladies look at my captain mashallah look y'all i can't believe i found this on timu oh Y'all look. Girl. <laughs> and y'all look at this scarf. So, okay. Wait, one, two, three, four. So there's four scarves over there that I have not shown you yet. And I'm going to show you the last four with this kaftan because this is a very nice neutral color. And it'll just go with all of the scarves. But look at this scarf. I only got one of these because I wasn't sure if I would like it or not. But it's like this, this or accordion type of look at this can y'all see that oh my goodness like i am in love i am in love and it comes to like a little point look at that oh now it's, it's not very long as you can see it's not very long but i think i can do some things with this even if i just wear it over the top like that and just have you know a scarf underneath this is y'all this is cute this is cute. But look at the kaftan. Sometimes the clothing items have faux decorations, like it'll look like it's something, but it's not actually functional. This actually functions. Like, it's an actual drawstring for this little part right here. And I think this is such a nice, basic, yet really, really cute detail. I think this will be perfect for the mosque during the last 10 days. So if you're not Muslim, usually during the last 10 days of Ramadan, People go to the mosque more and increase their prayers. I'm talking about, inshallah, we'll be, we be at the mosque at like 3 o'clock in the morning. Like, some serious prayers. So, when you're getting up in the middle of the night to go to the mosque and pray, you really want to be comfortable. Y'all, I can literally have on my pajamas under this, <laughs> throw this on top with a scarf, and I'm good. <laughs> like, this is so flowy and lovely. Look at that. And it goes with the shoes too. So if y'all haven't noticed, majority of the outfits, actually I think all of the outfits, I've been wearing the little pearl shoes. They pretty much go with everything. So there we go, y'all. This is so cute. So cute. You would definitely need an undershirt and maybe um, a skirt and pants or what have you. But this is so cute because it does split. So cute. I should have got this in different colors, but I didn't know if I would like it or not. Okay, so let's check out the other scarves. I've already seen this one. I only got one of this type too. Oh, this, oh, this is a lot bigger than what I thought it would be. This is super sheer. That's so cute. Ooh. Oh my goodness. This is cute. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, next, I don't, that's probably gonna hit the floor. It's so slippery. So I'm just gonna put it back on the chair. All right, ladies, so this is like, um, this is like a cappuccino chiffon. One of the reasons that I bought some of their scarves is to compare them to the scarves that I sell in my boutique. And so far what I've noticed is even though the length and the width might be really similar, like the, the thickness of the fabric is a little different. Their scarves, I think, are great. Um, their chiffon, if you want something that's very flowy and, and thin like this, you know. And then like the chiffon ones that I offer, actually they're not chiffon, they're Georgette. 
and so they are a little more um, structured so to speak so you would get a little bit more friction so I think these are good scarves I think it really just depends on what you want you know what I mean I, I don't really think that people um, I think somebody has to do a really really terrible job for a scarf not to work for someone because I think all scarves work for people depending on what you want the look you're going for how you want to wrap the color the style all that stuff so that's where um, you know you choose if you want chiffon jersey georgette modal 100% uh, cotton or whatever it just depends on the look you're going for so it's, it's really hard for me to find a bad scarf. So I think their scarves are fine. All right. Um, which one is next? Yeah, that one won't slip off. Okay. Oh, we have a jersey here. Okay. Only two more. Y'all, these colors are very, very similar. Really the same color, but just a different shade or a different depth of that color. Oh, this is oh this is so real I love the I love this color like that that blush pink almost like a, a dirty blush type of pink I shouldn't say dirty dusty blush like oh this is oh this is so pretty oh my goodness yep yeah, and it's so soft so that yeah their jersey scarves are good just very thin so just be aware of that oh it feels I feel I just want to I want to give it to y'all through the camera so y'all can feel it like it just oh it feels so nice okay y'all can see the scarves are pretty good one more do y'all know that try on hauls are a lot of work my goodness I see why I was hesitating to do this but I have to get myself used to them this is pretty look y'all look at that is pretty how pretty I love this so nice oh this is pretty I feel like a little princess this is so pretty oh my goodness gosh I love Okay, ladies so that is the end of my try on haul and I would say overall if you are looking for high-end like designer type stuff that's gonna last you for like 20-25 years Timu probably ain't it okay if you're looking for fast fashion stuff that's really really cute that will last you for a little while as long as you take very very good care of it then timu might be able to help you out majority of what i have here i would say 99 to 100 percent of what i have here is polyester okay so if you're familiar with fabrics and things like that polyester clothing is usually you know down down towards the bottom of the totem pole um you're gonna get the cuteness you you're gonna get the the fast fashion like i said before but it usually is not going to last you like for a decade or something like that okay it's quick and it's cute um polyester is also known sometimes to hold older so you might not want to have a form-fitting polyester dress on if you're going to be outside in Texas heat for four or five hours because then when you wash it, you're going to have to wash it really, really well. If you have body odor, it might not come out. So it's it's some downfalls to it. So I just want y'all to know what y'all are getting yourselves into. But if you're like me, I was not raised with a silver spoon in my mouth. So I was raised with clothing like what I'm showing you now and I just knew how to take care of my stuff to make it last so i would say if you are interested in going on to timu have an open mind you're going to have a lot of cheap stuff there okay so far the stuff that i have gotten i'm satisfied with it and i plan on wearing it y'all might see me doing a photo shoot a few videos and all of that with some of these items 
Um, so if you have a good eye, you can get some of these items that are not super duper great quality and you can dress them up and make them what you want them to be. But if you are used to outfits that cost $500 a pop, then you're probably going to be very, very upset at Timu, okay? So just know what you're getting yourself into. Outside of clothing, y'all, they do have... Um, like everything i'm not even exaggerating they have household items they have accessories they have dishes like they have little gadgets knickknacks drones electronics like timu timu has gone completely off the rails in a good way so i would say just be careful i haven't really dug into the electronics or too many household items or anything like that so i cannot tell you about the quality of those which is why i'm only speaking on clothing um i do plan on going back maybe getting me some more shoes and things like that because i'm, I'm satisfied with it but i just want y'all to be aware of what it is so if you have ever shopped on shein pretty much the same thing okay so just be aware of that and if that's your thing then girl head over use my code and or use my link so you can get a percentage off and so that i can get a little tiny coin okay it will not increase the price of your purchase but it will help me out as a new affiliate with timu and lovelies the final items that i wanted to show you are the undercaps i bought two from timu and this is kind of like that little bonnet style. It has the elastic at the bottom and you can tie it back. And then this one, I can't remember if it's the same style or not. Let me see. Okay, it's not. It's just the, you put it over your head. So I will leave links for these as well. I kind of want to put it on. Let me show y'all the glasses up close and then I might put these underscarves on. I'm gonna make myself look silly. But these are the glasses. The pink ones are very, very, um, they're very lightweight. Like they feel like play glasses. They feel, they feel very cheap, but they look cute. All right, and then these, they have a different feel. They're plastic too, but they're not matte plastic and they don't feel as much like a toy as much as the pink ones do. They have this little detail on the side. So I think that's cute. All right, let me see about this underscarf. I've never had an underscarf like this. Put this down. Huh. I don't know. Now that I see it in person, I don't know. Look at this. Uh-uh. Oh, okay. Oh, no, my head is big. Y'all. Yup. This must be for a kid. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. This for a kid. It doesn't. This would work if it's stretched. It doesn't. So if you have a little girl, this might work. But an adult, no way. <laughs> okay, let's try this one. Maybe I accidentally bought kitty underscarves. Or is my head just really big? I know I have a long face, but my goodness. Okay, this is cute. I'm not gonna tie it all the way up, but yeah, this can work. Yeah, this can work. That feels good. Especially when I have my hair braided down like I do now. Oh yeah, that can work. But that first one definitely that that must be for kids. <laughs> okay, y'all, I went off camera and I put this on and it actually does work. And surprisingly, it's not uncomfortable. Huh. Now it doesn't give you really nearly any neck coverage, but it does, you have this, it does like, it does stay on your head. Like, look at this. Now if you have, it has this little thing for your hair. Right now my hair is like braided down and tucked under. If you have a lot of hair, then this is probably, like if your hair is free or loose, this probably won't work for you. But if you have a style where your hair is like flat, then this will probably work out as an undercap. I've never had an undercap like that before. But it's, 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 it's working. At first I said it was for kids, but once I went into that mirror and played with it, it works. Look at that. It works. So it gives you a, a little bit, just a little bit of, uh, ladies don't have Adam's apples, do we? Do we call those Adam's apples? 
whatever that little apple is called. It covers that. So you could, I kind of like this. I kind of like this. Oh. If you just want a huge online shopping mall, Timu would be it. What's happening on Timu is that they have a lot of items that they are offering to the public at wholesale prices. You do not have to have a EIN tax ID or anything like that. And you can very well go on there and find items that are a dollar or even less than a dollar. Whereas if you were to go into the stores, Target or Walmart, you would probably be paying at minimum seven, eight, nine, ten dollars for these exact same items. So if you have a business, I would say um, if you find some items on Timu, buy a couple of them, test them out, see if the quality meets your standards, and then you can have those in your shop or um, whatever you'd like to do with those. If you are just a person who's looking to shop and save some dollars, again, it is a vast, vast online mall. Now, some of the items are also offered at full price. You're not gonna find everything at wholesale discount prices. Some of them you will find at retail price. It will take time. You will have to have some hours to do some digging. So I'm gonna help you out by leaving the links to everything you've seen here down beneath the video. Also be aware that items do go out of stock very, very quickly. Since my first purchase from Timu, I have been putting stuff in my car, removing stuff. Sometimes I get emails and notifications that says, hey, this is almost out of stock. And I'm like, hmm, and I wait and then it's gone. Thankfully, it's these are not items that I really need. It's just, I'm kind of just like playing around shopping and finding cute stuff and seeing what I like. But if you see something on there that you really, really need, jump on it right away because stuff does go out of stock and it's not guaranteed to return all the time. All right, y'all, I am exhausted. <laughs> it has been forever since I did a try on video, okay? And I'm also on my little vacation time, so I need to go sit down and relax. <laughs> So thank y'all for watching. Check all the links down below. And if you like this video and would like to see more like it, let me know. Thanks for watching, y'all. Peace, blessings, love, and light. God be with you. Bye.